Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing and quick review of this Daikeo Flame Atmospheric Speaker. I mean, this is a Bluetooth speaker, but I mean, everybody knows how a Bluetooth speaker works, but this one is much nicer, of course. This is a new trend. I found this just recently on Amazon and it looks just awesome and I hope it will do like uh, it's shown on the picture here you can see some of the technical descriptions it has an output power of 5 watts and a built-in high efficiency lithium battery of 2000 milliampers so it is rechargeable it works with bluetooth 4.2 and it has a range up to I think 32 feet I mean everything looks really good and I'm really curious to see how this really works so let's open the box and see so this is what we get in the box we get a quick user guide with uh, some contact information as well then a detailed user guide with all the information how to prepare how to connect how everything to set up and also they recommend to use this stand or at least you can use this stand i've also bought this and i will probably make another video about that let's see how long it takes for this video then we get this usb charging cable it's a micro usb uh, cable which yeah we have already usually a lot that's a good thing so probably you have already one installed at home and yeah if you haven't you can use this one so the speaker itself looks really beautiful I hope you can see that I mean it is difficult to show on the camera but it is really uh, nice metal shiny chrome metal and it has a really special look uh, with these openings here and it is uh, really elegant and I hope it will be even more impressive with the flickering nice light so I have to check if it's already pre-charged and yeah i'll make sure that it's charged and then we can use it and see how easy we can connect it how good the sound is and everything yeah the opening to charge is here and it's nicely covered so of course i don't know how it works for outdoor i have to find out but at least it's really good protected if you plan to use it outside but I'm not sure if it's really waterproof I'll find out so I've checked all the available information here in this manual here and on the website and I could find out something about waterproof some people say it's IP65 which is not uh, much but at least it would protect against a few drops some say it's not waterproof for me it is too beautiful to leave outside in the rain definitely i wouldn't take any chances and make sure it is protected from any rain or other water let's say from the pool or yeah chlorines that's really important so i've been charging it now for a little bit with this battery pack it has a red light uh, all the time so i think it is still charging and um, but i think it will be probably pre-charged a little bit so usually i'm patient to wait till it's fully charged because this is the recommended way but um, it is too i'm too too excited i cannot wait uh, with this device to be fully charged so i'm now unplugging it and try to use it right away 
the charging process is finished when the red light turns off. The thing is, I have now read everything again and I have found a couple of things about humidity and rain. So they say clearly in the instructions you shouldn't put it out in the rain. You shouldn't use this uh, below zero degrees, I think, uh, Celsius or about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You shouldn't use it in too high humidity, at least you shouldn't charge it in too high humidity. So yeah, please be careful. It is definitely not really waterproof. I mean, it is a little bit water resistant with this protection. It's a good thing, but it is nothing that you can use outdoor in the rain. So we are unplugging it now, closing the door for charging. And so to turn it on, it is, this is a little bit difficult to see now. Without the light, we, uh, yeah, I have a hard time to see uh, the buttons actually. So that's, uh, I mean, now when it's charging, you can clearly see where to turn on. Uh, yet yeah, on and off this is a long press here for the light should be a short press uh, sound long press uh, decrease sound volume long press to increase sound volume uh, short press here I think for the last sound this for the next sound and this yeah play and pause so I will have to turn it on here in the back so I'm trying this now okay that's nice and yeah in the middle there's the light oh wow now that's a great thing oh my god isn't that looking awesome I've never seen something so beautiful, I mean, in the night, can you imagine how beautiful this, this will be outside in the patio or something like that? So I turned down a little bit the light inside this room and uh, I mean, wow, that's amazing, that's just amazing, so I don't know if it's always the same or we can change it, I think it's, it's always the same, you can just turn it on, turn it off. They say in the instructions you shouldn't uh, push along in the middle. It says it's a warning. I don't know why they would say it's a warning. I don't think you can damage this device with long press, but I just don't, that, don't do that. It, it was a, a clear warning. So it said, yeah, I mean, when, I think when you turn it on, it will go into connection mode. We'll check that if that's possible. I've now opened my phone with the settings and it says here yeah, uh, Daikaiu A1 is ready for pairing. Uh, allow access to your contacts and call history. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they need that, but uh, yeah, I guess I have no choice. And it looks like, it, yeah, it says connected. Does it say something about charge? Sometimes it says something out about the charge, but here I don't see that. Yeah, I can just choose media audio, contact sharing and unpair and rename. That's about it, but I can play, can try to play some music and I'll do that now. Oh wow, yeah, that was pretty nice. I mean, I'm definitely impressed with the bass sound. So it was uh, described in the uh, listing that the there's a nice bass sound, but uh, I couldn't almost I almost couldn't believe uh, with such a small device that it has such a nice sound. But uh, they didn't promise too much. It's definitely an awesome thing, has a really beautiful eyes, nice sound. Um, yeah, what can you ask for more? I mean, uh, yeah, it's already a good thing. 
uh, I would say you don't actually need a stand but uh, I will show you now the stand so this is I was told that's the most perfect stand for that uh, small table tripod I will put that on now and show how this uh, will look now with the tripod if it's better or not so it's almost too beautiful to turn on the light again but I had to for the tripod so you can open this thing here and then you can point it to any direction you want that's really convenient and then close it again that's a really cool thing but apart from that it's pretty much a normal tripod it is plastic nothing weird but it's really easy to put up and go down a little bit with the camera hope you can see that um, it's really super stable I like uh, this with these uh, rubber feet it's pretty stable and doesn't scratch the table that's a good thing and yeah I haven't straightened it so and yeah let's see if we can oh yeah that's a normal tripod mount so it should be able to really uh, put that on really easily yeah absolutely no problem now it's a little bit too high for my camera yeah definitely not a bad thing I mean this is really a beautiful thing you can put it on the table maybe on the table I would use it without the tripod if you want to use it on the floor I would definitely recommend to use it with the tripod I mean tripod is really cheap and I would definitely recommend if you buy this nice speaker I would recommend to buy this stand because it fits perfectly and there's a good chance that we will use it for that if you don't use it for this uh, speaker lamp then you can use it for anything else so yeah definitely nothing to complain about that it is an awesome thing for you for your friends as a gift uh, yeah whatsoever I mean I now can really understand why this is a new trend um, doesn't get any better than that and yeah I just regret that I didn't buy it earlier so and I will put down the links to these two really great products down into the description so you can order them right away from Amazon yeah I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write in the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time